Even though we can't live in space, people have installed eyes in space to see what is happening. But these camera eyes sometimes capture weird sights that even seasoned astronomers can't explain. In this video, NASA chief scientists announced a major discovery after a satellite detected something weird above our globe. Humanity's greatest achievement is the ISS. Its cameras are interesting because what they catch, but it fulfills crucial duties. Some are shocking. The ISS was the largest human-built structure in space. Since November 2000, it has been continuously inhabited. Additional components are being installed to suit future missions and research. Join us as we discover more about the NASA Alert System, which will be covered in this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more useful content like this. NASA, the world's largest space agency, doesn't own the ISS. It's a EU, US, Russia, Canada, Japan collaboration. ISS operation is costly. NASA spends one third of its human space mission budget on the space station. Russia, another significant partner, deployed 54 people versus the US 158. The ISS is visible in the night sky without equipment and rivals Venus in brightness. ISS components like solar panels generate electricity. Long trusses link the arrays to the station. Radiators on the truss regulate space station temperature. Robotic arms outside the space station built in can move astronauts during spacewalks. Others conduct science experiments. Astronauts can go on spacewalks through airlocks that open on the outside. Pictures of them floating in space are famous because they look unearthly. Docking ports let spacecraft dock with the station. These ports welcome visitors. Soyuz spacecraft carry astronauts through docking ports. ISS impacts your life even if you don't notice. Its research has produced daily items as needed. SpaceX sent four external cameras to the ISS for CR-13. The ISS Columbus Lab contains HD EV cameras. Columbus Eye contains four cameras. Bonn University streams live. The school and German space agency launched the Columbus Eye program. NASA gave the cameras an official sounding term. Forward facing. Two cameras view backwards or up. While one faces below and broadcasts down to Earth via the space station's computer Ethernet cable, NASA always experiments. Due to cosmic radiation, scientists tracked image quality decrease. Scientists also test camera housings against space rays. Pressurized and temperature controlled boxes protect the cameras. Engineers may use their durability to choose future mission cams. Many amateur astronomers monitor these camera broadcasts online. The cameras occasionally catch something exciting. Sometimes people see a UFO-like object. When things get exciting, NASA cuts the live feed and changes to pre-recorded footage, which confuses viewers. They think the space agency is hiding something. What is NASA hiding? A recent cover-up involved expert alien spotting theories. Speedcap 1's NASA Clipper broadcast ended unexpectedly. A stunning item slowly falls into view, but the screen shows technical difficulties with the feed. Viewers found halting the feed suspicious. Streetcap 1 thinks the camera cut off when the UFOs ceased. The agency's spokesman, Daniel Hewitt, said the live broadcast was mistakenly cut. ISS cameras are automatic, he claimed. Hewitt said the station received video audio and telemetry. Cameras display a blue screen or preset video slate when we lose connectivity. Social media disproved NASA's claim that NASA withheld alien evidence. ISS cameras have caught UFOs before. NASA has a history of disregarding UFO reports despite its authority to investigate. But this UFO curiosity has grown in the US and worldwide. Government-funded UFO study is going on. The Pentagon has also encountered UAPs, another moniker for UFOs. Scientists have discovered an interstellar visitor after finding several asteroids in space. Space exploration has never seen this visitor. The interstellar visitor will transform our view of the universe. Hence, scientists were perplexed and investigated. 
On October 14, 2017, a mysterious cosmic object whizzed past Earth unnoticed. This item was unexpectedly discovered five days later by University of Hawaii Institute of Astronomy postdoctoral researcher Robert Warwick as it left the solar system. A panoramic survey telescope and a rapid reaction system panned stars and found the cosmic object. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration detected the moving item in the Penn Star's image database while searching for the near-Earth objects. However, it wasn't first identified where it collected the information and sent the photographs to the Minor Planet Center. The cigar-shaped interstellar object had an unusual orbit and strange properties when found. The object's velocity was unrelated to comet orbits or solar system asteroids, Marco Michel confirmed. Marco, a Hawaii Institute of Astronomy graduate, had Tenerife's European Space Agency telescope take follow-up photos. All the data showed an unusual object from outside the solar system. California-based NASA Center for Near-Earth Object Studies scientist Davido Fanokia commented on this discovery. We're sure it'll escape the solar system. He thought a force behind the object caused its irregular orbit. Gravity affected the first interstellar object to enter our solar system. Oumuamua. The Near Earth Object Center tracked and forecasted Oumuamua's route. They discovered how the object entered our solar system. Scientists say the object entered our solar system above the ecliptic. It's on its way to the sun. The object did not encounter any of the eight major planets seven days later. Earth's gravity distorted the item. Oumuamua returned after 15 million kilometers under the Earth's orbit. It flew 44 million kilometers over the planet towards Pegasus. Oumuamua was flying three times faster than the Earth's orbit around the Sun, giving scientists a brief chance to study it. Another issue, Oumuamua had raced past our planet and was too small and dark to see when discovered. Before its discovery, space object theories included Oumuamua. Washington's NASA Scientific Mission Division Assistant Administrator Tom Zerboken confirmed similar theories. Oumuamua's discovery proved interstellar objects like it. Telescopes worldwide observed Oumuamua's color and orbit due to time constraints. To get the best data, the European Southern Observatory's giant telescope interferometer followed Oumuamua's ground-based telescopes. Astronomers found that its brightness varied by 10 times while it rotated every 7.3 hours. They found that no asteroid or comet in our solar system differs so much in brightness. Oumuamua had equal length and width. Mish said the object's large brightness difference indicates length. Its complex shape and reddish color resembled outer solar system objects. The telescope found it chemically inactive and dust-free. Scientists continue to speculate about Oumuamua being a comet. But since telescopic measurements did not show it producing a huge fuzzy coma-like tail, such suggestions were disregarded. Comets form such tails when heated by the sun. Scientific publications and global headlines had one query after these observations. What was Oumuamua exactly? It might be a block of solid hydrogen, a new kind of interstellar object, or an artificial building by an advanced extraterrestrial culture, as Harvard University astronomy professor Harvey Loeb suggested. Harvey Loeb and colleagues examined these theories. Advanced civilizations created Oumuamua. Oumuamua is an artificial thin solar rail that accelerates with sun radiation. Harvey says this is why the object behaves like a comet, yet doesn't have gravitation acceleration from the sun, while other scientists disagree. His claim that a tumbling solar rail cannot speed is unsubstantiated. Avi wrote a study on the Oumuamua's six irregularities and why it's different from asteroids and comets we've seen since space exploration. After the article was published, scientists have utilized this data to space telescope to determine the standard comet's carbon outgassing and impact brightness. Oumuamua shines 10 times brighter than a comet. Notwithstanding these observations, his theory is unproven. Many astronomers disagreed, and new Oumuamua origin theories emerged. Hydrogen ice hypothesis. 
He believes Oumuamua is hydrogen and ice with so much hydrogen that the sun's heat turns it into gas, allowing it to travel across space. It also explains no hazy coma. Astronomers say telescopes cannot see the coma because the atmosphere thins wavelengths. After refining, the object would be elongated and cigar-shaped, supporting this theory. Though plausible, the theory is unlikely. Sublimation evaporates ice faster and this object has been in space too long to be made of this material. Since finding Oumuamua, researchers have increased scouting. Yale University astronomer Greg Lachlan suggests billions of Oumuamua-like entities may be traveling through the Milky Way. Scientists hope to find more interstellar visitors soon. NASA can't hide other frightening space events even if it hides UFO video feeds approaching the ISS. Amateur astronomers detected Mars plumes. Two sightings of the plume prove its existence. Wayne, an amateur observer, put together still shots from his 14-inch telescope to highlight the phenomenon's dynamics. This strange plume makes Mars even stranger. Both times, plumes rose over 250 kilometers above the same region of Mars. The tallest such plumes were 100 kilometers, so it's striking. The plume covered 1,000 by 500 kilometers in 10 hours, changing structure daily for 10 days. The observed plumes are surprising because Mars's atmosphere is only 250 kilometers thick. You may ask why amateur astronomers found this odd plume before NASA. 18 amateur astronomers observed the plume with 20 to 40 centimeter telescopes at blue to red wavelengths. NASA has several spacecrafts orbiting Mars, but their viewing geometry and illumination circumstances prevented them from seeing this plume. Scientists found periodic clouds at Mars' limb in archived Hubble Space Telescope pictures from 1995 to 1999 and amateur images from 2001 to 2014. Hubble photos dated May 17, 1997 showed an extremely high plume identical to that seen by amateur astronomers in 2012. What causes Mars's massive plume? Scientists have intriguing theories. As 45 degrees south latitude plume was reported. Iron ore deposits create magnetic field tiger stripes. In 1998, the Mars Global Surveyor Magnetometer found mineral deposits during low altitude aero braking maneuvers. Auroras were seen before this plume sighting. Martian magnetic field and sun-generated energetic particles caused them. These plumes must be 1,000 times brighter than Earth's auroras. Another issue is altitude. Perhaps the aurora spotted here has not exceeded 130 kilometers, half an eighth of this drop. Earth's auroras never exceeded 100 kilometers above ionospheric levels. The Martian atmosphere around 200 kilometers is weak making sustained and bright aurora unlikely. Every sighting had 10-day plumes. Earthly auroras lasted only hours. The auroral oval and arcs form from sun-charged particles in the Earth's magnetic field. Mars lacks capacitive particle storage. Mars's auroras are solar. Long-term concentrated solar high-energy stream testing is unprecedented. Martian dust storms typically raise particles to 60 kilometers, much lower than the plume. Researchers favor the second idea with ice crystals or carbon dioxide and water. Martian dust devils may lift particles 20 kilometers. Particle concentration and reflectivity determine plume brightness. Ice crystals are highly reflective and simplest to carry to these heights. Thirdly, ESA suggests, NASA believes space weather caused the plume after studying this Martian oddity. Amateur astronomers know the sun affects planets. The magnetosphere can trap solar wind particles and redirect them to high latitudes. Auroras result from solar wind ions hitting the high altitude atmospheric gases. Any magnetic field and atmosphere can dazzle sunlight. Jupiter, Saturn and Venus have auroras. Solar interactions persist after auroras. CMEs magnetized plasma bubbles from the sun's lower atmosphere hits Earth. Planetary magnetism feels it. Electrical currents power our ionosphere. Mars lacks a global magnetic field. Mars' atmosphere is eroded by CMEs, unlike Earth's magnetosphere. Billion-year-old Mars may have had a thicker atmosphere. 
Is the plume discovery a major space event? Answers may solve problems. ESA's plasma observation revealed a gap large enough to damage Mars and accelerate plasma escape from its atmosphere. They found no ionosphere plumes. They only have circumstantial evidence that the CME affected Mars's ionosphere. The plume's location complicates observations. Consequently, Mars's plume origin is unknown. Perseverance's rover cameras are different from regular rover cameras. Most cameras on the Opportunity rover and prior Mars exploration rovers have sun filters. NASA also built sunscreens on Perseverance's cams. The rover needed these sunshades to drive. Some photographs from the rear HESS cams contain light artifacts since sun coverings weren't necessary. We'd like to hear your thoughts on Mars's mysteries in the comment section below. In the meantime, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.